My chronograph, an Xcortec X3200 Mark III, got the LCD shot out. I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's really easy and guess what? No soldering involved. So I was chronoing a guy and as I pulled the chronograph away to look at the screen, he shot again and the BB hit right here. If you look really closely at the screen, I can turn it on here, it is totally unusable. So let me show you how to fix it. To fix my little Illing chronograph here, we're going to need three things. We're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, and the replacement LCD screens. So if you have a broken LCD Xcortec just like I do, I'll leave you an email link down in the description where you can email the company to get replacement LCD screens. They gave me an option of one, two, or three LCD screens. Three LCD screens, shipping included, was less than 20 bucks. All right, the first thing we need to do is just turn it over, take the batteries out, And then you'll see there's four little rubber legs here. Those four rubber legs just pop right on out. Inside of each of these holes is a Phillips screw. Take your small Phillips screwdriver and just remove the screws. They come out really easily. Once you have the four screws out, just separate the halves of your chronograph. Right here is your circuit board and it actually lifts out very easily. In the back of your circuit board, there's two small Phillips screws right here. Go ahead and remove those. There are three tabs right here holding the circuit board onto this front plate. You have to pull back these three tabs all at the same time so you can get this out. What I do is I use my tweezers, come over here on the side and just press gently and it comes right out. Here's your LCD screen here. Your LCD screen plugs in the back right here. Take your tweezers and just gently pull this ribbon out of the slot. Next, take your flathead screwdriver and put it underneath your LCD screen and tear it off. There's actually a couple of adhesive strips in here that's holding it in place. Don't go in at the corners because there's four little tabs right in here and you don't want to break those off. And the LCD screen is off. Now the company sent me a bezel that fits on the front here. My bezel wasn't damaged, so I'm not gonna replace it, but it's in held in place with two adhesive strips here and here, you can see it on the back. All you have to do is just turn it over and push it out if you want. To install your LCD, there are two adhesive strips right here. Go ahead and pull the little protective piece off. And if you look closely, you'll see these four little tabs that I was telling you about. On the front of the circuit board, there are four little tabs. So take your ribbon, push it through the slot, line up those four little tabs and then press it in place. Don't press it too hard because if you press it too hard, you're gonna break this LCD. Next, you wanna turn it over Take your tweezers and slide the ribbon down into the slot. All you have to do is just take your circuit board, slide it into the side without the tabs, and then push it down into the tabs and it slides right back into place. Next thing we need to do is put our two Phillips screws back in to hold the circuit board in place. you'll see you have here two holes for the batteries. And if you look really closely on your circuit board, you'll see you have the two springs here. Just match up the circuit board with the two holes for the batteries into the springs. Next, put the top back on. And put your four screws back in.
Put your legs back in. Insert your batteries. Let's power it back up. Look at there, works perfectly. Let's shoot a couple BBs through it to see if we get a reading or two. Check that out, works perfectly. Easy fix, no soldering. Fortunately, your boy here is an electronic engineer, so I was able to figure this out on my own. My guess is, if you have an Ace Tech chronograph, the procedure is probably the same. Just contact Ace Tech Tech Support, and they'll send you some LCDs for it. And if you like Airsoft Tech, I got a video right here for you where I hack an Airsoft silencer to make it a little bit quieter. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you out on the field. Shrek out.